Hello friends, this video on applications of trigonometry part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. We'll take one example. A straight highway leads to the foot of the tower. A man standing at the top of the tower observes a car at an angle of depression 30 degree, which is approaching the foot of the tower with a uniform speed. Six seconds later, the angle of dispersion of the car is 60 degree. We have to find the time taken by the car to reach foot of the tower. So let's draw this tower. This is the tower. A man is standing on the top of the tower. So let us have a man standing at the top of the tower. There is a car and this guy observes the car. The angle of dispersion is 30 degree now. That is, this you draw horizontal line. This angle is 30 degree. Now the car is approaching toward the tower with a uniform speed. So this car will move from here to this tower. So let's suppose this car move from this point to this point. So this is t is equal to 0 and this is t is equal to 6 seconds. The car moved from here to here. Now the angle of dispersion became 60 degree. So this angle became 60 degree. The question is at what time t is equal to k at what time or how much time the car will take to reach this point the tower foot of the tower so let's first draw the triangle so this is my triangle so once i have my triangle let me name this triangle a b c maybe c and this point is let's use d so this, this angle is 60, so this angle will also become 60. So this angle is 30, this angle will also become 30. So we are told that from this point to this point it took 6 seconds. So we have to find how much time it takes from this side to this point. To find that, first we have to find the distance between B and C. Correct. Only when we can find the distance between B and C, distance BC, then only we can tell that from this point this to it took this per second. So from this point to this point, this per second. Correct. So what we can do now? So let's assume the height of the tower BX. And now let's find CD and uh, BC in terms of X. So what we'll do? We'll take first this triangle. Triangle A, B, C. In triangle A, B, C. Same thing we'll do here. C is the frame of reference angle. So this is height. This is perpendicular. This is base. So I'm dealing with perpendicular and base now. So we'll use this Pandit Badri Prashad. Hare Hare Bol. P and B. P and B is tan. So we're looking for tan. So we'll say tan 60 degree. So we'll do P by B. Here P is nothing but AB and base is nothing but BC and this is nothing but X by BC and tan 60 is nothing but root 3. So we will get BC is nothing but X by root 3. This is the value of BC that is X by root 3. Correct. Now same thing in triangle bigger triangle triangle A, B, D instead of C it is A, B, D now. So we have 30 degree here, same thing P and B, so we'll use tan here. So we'll say tan 30 degree will be equal to P by B. So in this case perpendicular is AB, but the base is instead of BC it will be BD. Correct? And that is nothing but AB is X by BD. So this is BD. BD till this point. And tan 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3. So we'll get BD is nothing but x root 3. Correct? So we got BD as x root 3. We have got these two equations. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. And the distance travelled by the car is DC. So DC is nothing but DC is nothing but BD minus BC. That is x root 3 minus x by root 3. So we solve that this becomes x into 
root 3 minus 1 by root 3. Solve this, this becomes x into root 3 into root 3 is 3 minus 1 by root 3 that is 2x by root 3. This is the distance travelled by car. See, so to travel, so I say to travel or we can find the speed of the car. See, distance travelled is 2x by root 3. Time taken is how much? 6 seconds. Speed is equal to distance by time that is 2x by root 3 by 6. This is meter per second is the speed of the car. Speed of the car is 2x by 3 into 1 by 6 meter per second. Now we have the speed of the car. We have to find how much time it will take to travel BC. Right. So distance is equal to speed into time or time is equal to distance by time is equal to distance by speed. So you have to find the time it takes from to reach from C to B. So here the distance is x by root 3 and the speed is this much 2x root 3 into 6 x x cancel root 3 root 3 cancel 2 and 6 3 common so this becomes 3 seconds so it takes 3 seconds for the car to reach the foot of the top. simple what we have done we have found this uh, distance traveled by the car we have we were told that the time it took is 6 seconds we found the speed of the car we have the speed of the car we know that the distance from this current position to the foot of the tower is x root 3. We know distance we have speed, we found the time it took. That is 3 seconds. Let's take one more last problem. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower from two points at a distance 4 and 9 meters from the base of the tower and the same height line with it are complement. Prove that the height of the tower is 6 meters. This is the tower. There are two points, 4 and 9 meters from the base of the tower and this the angle of uh, elevation actually. So this angle and this angle, if you see, if this angle is theta, this angle is 90 minus theta. The question says the sum of the angle is 90 degree and we have to prove that the height of the tower is 6 meter. Let's draw the triangle first. This is my triangle. Let the height be x. We will prove the x to be 6 meter. So we will say let height of tower be x. Now the distance here is this is 4 and this is 9 actually. The big one is 9. So we will say A, B, C, D. Correct. So we are told that in first case, if you see the tan theta is equal to x by 4. Because in triangle ABC, the sides we are dealing with this, this will be perpendicular because this is the theta frame of reference, perpendicular in base. So Pandit Badri Prashad, Hari Hari Bol, perpendicular in base, we will deal with tan theta. So we will say tan theta is equal to P by B. And here P is AB and B is BC. That is x by 4. So I got tan theta is equal to x by 4. The next equation I get in triangle ABD, same thing. We are dealing with height x and this one. Base, I will say tan of theta, angle here is 90 minus theta. Tan of 90 minus theta is equal to P by B. Here P is AB and B is BD that is x by 9 and tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. We have learned this. So now I have two equation, equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 say tan theta is equal to x by 4 and equation 2 is cot theta is equal to x by 9. We will multiply these two. We will get tan theta into cot theta 
tan theta is x by 4 in cot theta is equal to x by 9. tan theta in cot theta is equal to 1 we know is equal to x square by 36 or we get x is equal to root 36 that is plus minus 6. Since we are talking about distance we can ignore the negative part so x is equal to positive 6 so the height of the tower is 6 meter. Correct. What we have done, we found tan theta, we found cot theta, and then we found, use this relation tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1, and we got the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.